Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Magic Square MS B21 EX Intelligence Officer. So this is a third party take of a legend scale Bumblebee figure. So we're going to open him up literally right now. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do some comparisons with him and the original Bumblebee figure and some other Bumblebee figures as well. We're going to see how he displays with other Magic Square figures and indeed how he scales with other Legends scale third party companies as well. Now as I'm opening this up I need to thank Shows E Store which is where I purchased this from and as you can see they got it to me nice and quickly and safely. So I say quickly because this is yet again and again I'm new to this. This is his latest version. I've seen other versions of this in the past where he's a much lighter yellow whereas this is as you can see or hopefully you can see now it's a much much shinier yellow now i've got to confess i've already had him out of the package um, and that's because i wanted him for the megatron review that i did um, but the interesting thing about this figure is um, you have to put the tires on him when he comes i wasn't aware of that at all so the tires there um, i've actually put on myself so this is what, what he comes with and i suppose it's pretty much standard across all of the third party companies now so he comes with eight tires which is brilliant so they are rubber as well the reason why i'm saying it's brilliant is because obviously if you lose one or they start to perish away which unfortunately they do as we found out with the generation one figures you've got four spare so i'm going to keep them there pop it out of the way you've got a absolutely minuscule little gun that comes with him you've got your collector's card which again is basically a homage or a takeoff of the takara g1 figures which had these them as well and the instructions are here now this guy is not too bad i'm still going to be putting the tutor the transformation on a tutorial in a separate video though to keep the time of this one down the figure itself though let's have a look i mean that is clearly generation one bumblebee as you can tell that's better focus on his face lovely detail it is tiny the head has got full articulation on it no real looking up and down as you can see the shoulders are on ball and sockets you've got full rotation there even with the extra lift up there as well you've got a swivel at the forearms you've got a wrist swivel because if you have a look at the back or on the inside they're on a ball and socket now you can't replace these um the, the accessories that come with this are just literally this gun so there's no extra fist there's no extra heads etc you've just got this tiny little gun there is a waist swivel there's a teeny now it's not really an ab crunch there's a waist swivel the hips are on ball and sockets as well there's a swivel below the hips there's a swivel at the knee there's a knee bend there is a tilt and a rock as well even on this tiny tiny little figure so the articulation is once again off the charts um, and the detail is the paint on it is really good the black on the bumper the silver on the lights and of course the three different colors on his head there's the light blue as well which you'll see more in the other mode everything you know tucks together quite neatly these gaps at the back are supposed to be there by the way they're supposed to be there just to thicken his legs out with regards to his actual size this is a g1 bumblebee so he's a little bit smaller and of course he's far far more articulate um, with regards i suppose to some of today's figures this is a core class star screen so he's way smaller than them and again more articulate than that and he's way smaller and less chunkier than him um, with regards to other companies so let's go with the company that he's from there's magic square megatron and magic square optimus prime so he's tiny tiny compared to them which of course he should be and he scales really well with regards to that this is takara's world's smallest optimus he's a bit taller than him and again a lot more articulate this is iron factory's take on hollow mirage which again he's a bit smaller than and then finally let's bring in some new age which again he scales with just as well and if this isn't making any sense to you because you don't collect them very quickly let's show you some mainline figures rise of the beast voyager prime he's up to his knee <laughs> so he's nice and small and there is deluxe shrapnel but here's a good one for you there is the netflix bumblebee um, and i could obviously bring out loads and loads of different versions of bumblebee but i think they're the main ones 
that you're going to want to see him compared to. So he's, again, a lot, lot smaller. He's smaller than the core class, and he's just as articulate, to be honest. Right, there's nothing more to say about him in this particular mode. Let's have a look at him in his alternate. So then, here he is in his alternate mode, and this is kind of cute, to be honest. Apologies again for no transformation process in this video. It really is to keep the length of the video down, and as I said, I've uploaded a separate tutorial video, so if you really want to see it, you'll be able to see it there. However, if you don't want to see it and you want to have a go at it yourself, you, of course, have not to watch it in this video. So overall, it's not too bad. It's, it is quite fiddly. It is quite finicky. Maybe that's due to its size. Maybe that's due to me uh, being new to, I suppose, these sorts of figures. It doesn't look too bad. You can see how many panels it's got, though. It's got loads. What I'm getting used to with Magic Square is they are lots of panels that fold out everywhere. Again, I've already pointed out that the tyres are made of rubber. I do really like that. They are obviously all on separate pins. They do fold out. And to be honest, you can't really tell underneath that it's a robot. That's quite cool, to be honest. Um, it does just about yeah if you put the wheels right it'll go backwards and forwards no problem sometimes this does come out for me um and whether or not because it's a new toy or just because perhaps i'm just not pushing that um firm enough if you if, if you i suppose it could be that but again I'm, it's a small figure to give it it is very small look there's g1 normal bumblebee and you won't even be able to see him hardly behind there there's world's smallest optimus um and then what have we got here just seen yeah here you go that's the deluxe obviously prowl from legacy evolution he really is this particular one here really is a nice small figure um i like the detail on the windows um the is nowhere to my knowledge that you can store this in the alternate mode it doesn't say in the instructions either um but again i think if you're going to get this figure let's be honest it's got to be in the robot mode you've got to be displaying him in the robot mode um <laughs> now i've heard this as well and that really I, I suppose does seem to be true i don't know that the most of the legend scale figures scale better in the robot mode rather than in the alternate and that definitely makes sense with the regards to that because that's optimus looks huge compared to him there um, i'm just having a quick look if there's any more comparisons that i can do i don't think to be fair that there is i suppose apart from a couple of the other mainline figures i suppose again just to give you an idea of how small he is he's not even he's about a calf's not a calf calf on the back a shin's height of legacy leader blitzwing in honesty but as i say i'm going to be displaying him in his robot mode anyway and that's exactly where i'm going to bring this video to a close there he is as i say there's nothing else to show you on this the wheels all go around this turns around between which, whichever mode you're in it is yellow though it's not a spare tire itself everything tucks away it's a nice little figure and because it just comes by itself there's no extra accessories to worry about either so there he is this is the magic square ms v21 ex because of the much brighter yellow paint let me know what you think of it in the comments is it another version that perhaps you won't get because it's just another repaint or is he something that's interesting sorry that's quite intrigued you and you're thinking of picking him up there's going to be a direct link in the description there he is from show z obviously this is magic squares take on bumblebee